Let's face it, we live in a technology-based society and that means taking a lot of photos, but there are some times where you look at them and they don't look so great. So today, I'm gonna give you five beauty tips on how to look perfect in your photos in a snap. So the first step to looking absolutely amazing in any photo is to eliminate shine. You don't wanna look greasy. And the easiest way to do this is just wear a powder foundation or even a matte tinted moisturizer, um, a matte moisturizer or a matte primer. Any of those will do. The next step is just to really define and open your eyes. And the easiest way to do this, put on some mascara. It's gonna make your eyes really nice and fluttery. And also, if you wear eyeliner, make sure that you don't wear it on your bottom lash line. This can actually close up your eyes and make them not look as big. So if you do wanna wear something on your bottom lash line, make it white eyeliner. I love white eyeliner because it instantly makes your eyes pop. And if you do wear eyeliner on your top lids, all you have to do is put on your cold pencil and then to seal it, put on liquid liner. A nice little trick. So a lot of times when we look at photos, we say, hey, I put on blush, I put on bronzer, but I still look washed out. Why is that? Well, A, it's the flash, sorry but a good rule of thumb to eliminate that problem is just more is more. Add more makeup to really brighten up and freshen up your face. And another good rule of thumb is just to you know, use brighter shades than you would normally wear. One key tool to really framing your face is filling in your eyebrows. And I know a lot of women skip this step because they're intimidated, but there's no reason to be because it's really, really simple. All you need is a taupe powder. It can be an eyeshadow or it can come in a kit like this. But all you do is just use an angled brush and when you put it on, just go in upward motions. That way it fills in any sparse areas and it'll help create a really beautiful arch as well. And finally, the final step to looking absolutely amazing in your photos is hello. Don't forget the lips. You wanna make sure that you really plump those up and make them look a little bit bigger. They do look better in photos. So I always use lip gloss because lip gloss has a reflective quality. So when that flash goes off, it makes your pout look even better. So now that we have these makeup and beauty tricks, it's time to learn how to pose. So to really thin out your frame, just lightly twist those hips to the side. You can also pump up your knee. That'll just give you a little bit of elevation too and will enhance your posture. Then take your hand and put it on your hip. This is going to elongate your arm, make it look more defined. Also, it'll give you a little bit of attitude too. If you want, you can turn your face to the side and smile with a little cocked chin. That way, it'll really define that uh, jawline, which we all like. And then just smile and look like you're having fun. If you, if you look like you're having a good time, it's really gonna show and make your face glow as well. So those are my tips to looking photogenic. Hopefully they help you as well as they help me. I'm Kirby and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar TV.